fighters are often described as heroes, and rightly so. Not only do they save people from the most terrible of situations, they also selflessly put their lives on the line while doing so. And if that wasn't enough, they've also been known to help out in non-human emergencies, such as the case with this little raccoon who got his head stuck in a drain earlier this year. It all began with a phone call to the Welland and District Humane Society in the summer of 2016. A member of the clinic had called the Animal Welfare Organization about a critter stuck in a storm drain in Ontario, Canada. Soon, animal control officers from the society were on their way to investigate. When the rescuers arrived at the location, what they found was heart-wrenching. The little raccoon had somehow become wedged in the grate covering a storm drain. Footage of the rescue attempt shows the animal trying desperately to wiggle himself free. The raccoon could move his body in four legs, but his fluffy little head was well and truly stuck. So, to begin with, the rescue team tried to loop the creature and pull him free. But when that didn't work, the rescuers needed a new plan. We attempted to use some of the tools that we had within our vehicle to try and remove the sewer grate to get the raccoon out of this predicament, explained the society animal control officer Ryan Herman. It looked like it was going to be a long day then for the team. And with the hoop technique having already failed, the officers attempted to use a piece of string. However, they soon discovered that wasn't going to work either. After their attempts to pry the grate open, it also fell flat. The rescuers were left with little choice but to call the local fire station. And moments later, a fire truck arrived on the scene equipped with all the specialist tools needed to break the raccoon from this metal trap. While their dramatic rescue footage shows the rescuers using heavy equipment, their efforts still didn't help. It turned out that setting the raccoon free was going to be harder than anyone anticipated. The spreaders were used and chains and blocks, but the sewer grate was not coming off, Herman explained. The city of Welland was also present, considering this was a city street. Then, as if things couldn't get any worse, a rainstorm arrived and threatened everything. The rescue team were hit by a period of intense downpour, which only made the situation more urgent. As a rescue result, the fire crew began hammering away at the grate in desperation, and as they did so, the streams and streams of water flooded into the drain where the raccoon was still stuck. Thankfully, the team had a lucky break. Tom James Towing was en route to assist us. With the same brute force in the pouring rain, we managed to remove the sewer drain, Herman said. Once the drain was released, the officers could then gently push the raccoon's head back through the grate. Now that the raccoon was free, the Animal Welfare Society bundled him into a carry cage and rushed him to wildlife rehab expert in the city of Welland. Mary Catherine Karuziak established the Niagara Wildlife Haven due to her love of animals. She specializes in native wildlife, including raccoons, and therefore was decided she was the best person for the job. Luckily for this little raccoon, she had good news. She's a certified wildlife rehabilitator. She assessed his condition and deemed him suitable for immediate release, so we took him to a field and released him. Indeed, incredible footage of the raccoon's release shows the adorable creature wasting no time in getting back to his normal life. As soon as his cage was open, he sprinted off into the long green grass. It seemed that the animal's brush with city life had been enough to put him off of urban exploration forever. To ensure that the raccoon's misfortune wouldn't repeat itself, the Welland and District Humane Society confirmed in the rescue video the young raccoon was released away from any storm drains. Acknowledging the help of the fire teams and all these involved, it added, thank you to all who provided and offered assistance. Raccoons are native to North America and found up and down the continent. In recent years, the number of furry bandits found in cities and towns has increased. Unfortunately, it's not the first time that one of these critters has become stuck in a grate. On Christmas Day 2015, the Joint Base Camp Cod Firefighters spent their afternoon freeing a raccoon from a drain in Massachusetts, and in August 2016, another raccoon got its head stuck in a grate and had to be freed by Northampton police. Like the Welland raccoon, though, all these animals were ultimately freed and sustained no physical harm. And given that the Welland raccoon had such a happy ending, the Welland and District Humane Society decided to share the video of the rescue on its Facebook page. We've removed plenty of sewer grates and rescued trapped animals in our years, but none have been as tough as this one. The video has since attracted a lot of attention, having been watched almost 40,000 times and receiving over 500 reactions. Wow, that's so sad to watch, but also so heartwarming, read one of the many comments in the post. Well done guys, a happy ending for this little guy, wrote another viewer. 
thanks for all you do for the critters. I'm sure there's a never-ending supply of animals needed to be rescued. We all have our part, and it's great to see the community effort to help these little critters. Indeed, the little raccoon is lucky to have received well in and District Humane Society's compassion, as well as the dedication of the local firefighters. Thankfully for him, they were able to save him and deliver him safely. However, with the number of raccoons getting stuck in drains seemingly on the rise, other creatures may not be so lucky.